What is going on everyone? We got a TV review to talk about today. This TV review is for I Am The Night. This doesn't just star Chris Pine, but it also stars Indina Easley, someone who I've never seen before. But I've always been intrigued. She was actually pretty good in this. The reason that I'm really excited about this isn't just for Chris Pine, like I said before, because I love the dude. It is because Patty Jenkins directed and was a very big part of this. Now, she didn't direct the whole miniseries. She only directed the first two episodes. It doesn't mean there's some excitement around I Am The Night. Again, it's Patty Jenkins reuniting with Chris Pine after they just did Wonder Woman. And this is based on a true story. And I'm kind of down for those true stories. Of course, I Am The Night is a brand new drama mystery premiering on TNT tonight. And I got the chance to actually watch the whole series and i'm here to tell you if it's worth watching what i can say for sure is this show starts great i mean this is a mini series there's only six episodes the first two episodes firing in all cylinders a lot of reasons it's firing all cylinders is because it ups holds that mystery feeling really i am the night is a very interesting story it's about fauna who is just a teenage girl who's given away at birth as this goes away she starts to figure out certain things about her giving away and she becomes very intrigued with it along the way on her journey trying to figure out certain mysteries she meets a reporter played by Chris Pine. With them now teaming up, they follow down a sinister trail. Sinister trail is really dark, and I'm curious to see how much of the true story actually was within here. Really, what I wanted to talk about first is my pros for this series. Again, the first two episodes are great. I really like the first two episodes. I'm kind of one of those people that love the setup for the mystery and the characters. Again, this is a mini series. It's only six episodes. And those first two episodes, which were directed by Patty Jenkins, you, you feel the direction by a very talented director. And that doesn't go to say anything against the other directors for the ones, but really there, I mean, Patty Jenkins is one of my favorite directors working right now, and she should be working and doing more. And even with her doing I Am The Night, there are some extraordinary things to it and the way that she directs these characters. And of course, one of the newcomers in here, India Easley, that I mentioned earlier, she was excellent in here and i want to see more from her now she has great charisma and she also has great chemistry with not just everyone around her but with chris pine chris pine overall is the best part of the, about this whole mini series i've been saying this for a while chris pine is one of the best actors one of the most underrated actors and ever since hell or high water which is one of the first roles that i think he really dived into and i didn't just see chris pine i actually saw the character he was betraying that goes to say in this same show as well he becomes this character where you believe that this is not chris pine but is just this ruined reporter who is trying to get back up on his feet the certain entails that he does deal with with fauna in here is just great even though the mystery in here is really unique and it's in a sense like if you're into those like hollywood conspiracy theories and the hollywood different types of things that happened back in the past i think you're gonna like the period piece in here and i was for the most part until i will say the last two episodes this show starts to drag um, after the third episode and maybe it's just me that felt that way i haven't really looked at what any other reviewers are saying but the rest of the show didn't really hold my interest that much um it starts off really strong and it wasn't like the directing was a problem it wasn't even really feeling like the writing was a problem the writing seemed good the performances were good and everywhere it was going was good but it just felt like the spirit and energy of the show just started going down sadly i wanted more of this from it i feel like the show was actually dragged down i actually do think this show would have worked better as a movie it's being me completely honest i think if you would have made this as a two-hour movie directed by patty jenkins starring the same cast this film would have ended up being stronger because again it's not like i didn't hate these characters i actually really enjoyed each and every one of them i felt to care for fun i felt to care for chris pine's character and i even felt to care for the mystery at hand and wondering what's going to go on with the next part six episodes in six hours of this mystery i wondered where it just kept going until the last episode i can't say i can't warn you and say oh don't watch this this is horrible no there is bad tv out there this is good tv but for the potential for this series i had my expectations very high up again i liked it it's good it's enjoyable but I felt like there was a lot of energy and it just felt lacking. There felt like filler. And when an, a mini series has filler for me, it doesn't mean it's the best. And filler in my book doesn't mean it's working on all cylinders. It's my final thoughts, guys. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films also down below. In the night, this new mini series, it has some great performances, some good direction, some good writing. But overall, the energy and the spirit just starts to feel like filler towards the middle half of the show. And then when it gets to the ending, it's like, oh! That's, that's cool. I wish we would have gotten there faster. Again, I think this TV show actually would have worked better as a movie. 
Again, not bad. It's a very interesting story that I can recommend for the better half of me if you're a fan of Chris Pine or even a fan of Panny Jenkins and you want to support. I think it's worth checking out, but maybe lower your expectations a little more. With all that said, I'm going to give I'm the Knight a C. Know what your guys' thoughts are on this mini series? I know it's starting tonight. Come back, comment, let me know which episode is your favorite when you guys finish this. Thank you guys again so much for watching this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy.